The search continues for a man whose dog bit a man in the face after the owner told him his dog was friendly. Tim Pelfrey says he will have to get rabies shots soon if the dog isn't found and tested. News Channel 5's Rochelle Ritchie is live tonight with details on who police and the victim are looking for. Rochelle? Well, Jim, the victim, Tim Pelfrey, describes the owner of the dog as a white male with a tattoo on his right calf that is similar to a Superman logo. And he says the dog is a bulldog with a silver, brown, and white coat. And he says, well, right now he may be the only victim. It's important to find these two to keep others from suffering the same attack. Tim Pelfrey says last night was the shock of his life. I just didn't know what to think. I just couldn't believe it happened. He and a friend were all set to enjoy a nice dinner at Gratify's on Detour Street when a bulldog sitting calmly by its owner caught his eye. Asked the owner if I could pet it. He said, sure, asked him if, you know, if he was friendly, and he said, yeah. For a few minutes, the dog and Pelfrey enjoyed each other's company, but all of a sudden... I went down to, to, to pet him again, and he just lunged right at my face. What happened next surprised him even more. The owner grabbed his dog and ran. It's cowardly. Bleeding from the lip, customers and employees kept Pelfrey calm until paramedics arrived. The owner of the restaurant says he was stunned because he's never seen dogs in the area act so violently. Hundreds of them every day. Yeah, and never been an incident. You know, most of the dogs down here are very well behaved. 30 stitches later, Pelfrey is now back home with his dog, Rebel, and says he doesn't want to leave his house. I don't. Looking like this? Why? He said it's going to take three, three to four months to heal. As a precaution, he may have to get rabies shots and has to undergo plastic surgery. He says he wants two things. I want to find him and the dog. The owner of Gratify says the dog owner did leave one clue behind, a hat that surprisingly says, who can I sue? And Pelfrey says that he does plan to file charges. Of course, if you know anything about this dog attack, you are certainly asked to call police. Reporting live in downtown West Palm Beach, Rochelle Ritchie, WPTV, News Channel 5.